Um. Hello, gender queer gang. Um. I just woke up again, so that's the reason why I look this way. Um. So this week's topic is um, if you had any participation in LGBTQ activism, this kind of activism, um, I have somewhat. Um, when I was about 17, 18 years old, I participated in, um, back then it was only an LGB youth group for 12 to 18 years old, and I was a volunteer, and we arranged uh, meetings like every Sunday, every last Sunday of the month, or every first Sunday of the month, I don't remember, for kids from 12 to 18, and we did fun things and we talked about coming out and stuff like that. So yeah, I did that for a couple of years until I was 19 and then I got kicked out because I was too old. And I think then I had a relationship with a minor, like I was 17, she was almost 15. So when I got 18, she was still 15. So that was kind of... They did not really like that. So yeah. Uh, because she was like a participant in those meetings and I was like the volunteer. Um, so, uh, but they later on they changed it into LGBT youth. Q, youth, Q is still not very uh, common. So yeah, I did that, and later on I changed, there was like this this group for elder, LGBTQ youth, from 18 to 25. Um, it was like the group that you could go to when you were like 18 years older. And then in that group, and I, in the previous group, and I was a, a volunteer for that. Not so very long because it wasn't a good, it wasn't like a success or anything because nobody ever showed up. So yeah, that was not so very good. And later on, I there were these youth groups, these youth camps. I went to a youth camp back in 2007 for LGBT youth from, I, th I thought, 13 or 14 till 25 and they were like hosting these these after these workshops and stuff about and they also had this workshop about transgender and I went there two years in a row to talk about transgender things um, and then they kicked me out as well because of money reasons and because that my, of my my story being too standard like it was just it was like they thought it was what every trans guy did and then I I don't really identify as a trans guy anymore so I don't think that my story was too um, standard or anything but they thought so so that's over too um, and now I go to schools, I said this before, I go to schools, because we have like this thing here in the south, of, not only in the south of Holland, but in, in the whole country that we go to schools and we tell, we arrange, arrange workshops in high schools about LGBT and more mostly LG and lesbian and gay and bisexual but they also want to host workshops are hosting workshops about transgender 
things. So that's, that's what I go to as well. Um, that's really all the activism that I do. Um, I, I actually kind of like it to go to high schools and see how people react. And now I'm just only there to watch because you have to have to, like, it's sort of an education so that you have to know what you have to say to those kids and you have to prepare yourself but that's only going to be like in September or something when I can like do it by myself when I can actually be the one giving these workshops so now I'm only watching but it's, it's actually kind of funny because I'm always late I miss trains and stuff or I go to the wrong school and then when I walk into the classroom later they all they're all like who is this and what is this person doing here and then I I get to explain that I'm transgender and they are all like what is that and those are like 12 13 year old kids so that's kind of funny it's kind of nice so yeah that's really all the activism that I do regarding LGBTQ things what I would say to other people um, who are LGBTQ identified and would want to um, know more about the community and want to do more in the community participate in the community I'd say go to Facebook groups I'm in a lot of Facebook groups regarding LGBTQ. Go to these meetings of these groups that I've talked about earlier in this video. You know, the ones where I was a volunteer in. Especially when you're younger. There's a lot of information on the internet. There's a lot of information on YouTube. Um, um, come up to me. Um, Watch, go on Tumblr, watch Tumblr. Um, I think the internet is like a good thing to check out. Um, so yeah, just go through that. If you want to like be active in the LGBTQ community and you want to do some sort of activism or you want to read more information or more information about LGBTQ things just go do that that, that would be nice I think um, so yeah that's really all I wanted to say about this topic I hope I didn't ramble too much but I just woke up just got a coffee and not feeling so well still um But, you know, that's not, this is not the place to talk about that. Um, and I will hope to see you all next week on the Gender Queer Gang. So, see you later, alligator.